Good morning. Welcome. Thank you. I know I've had a lot of questions on my 10 drawer cart. So let's get started. I picked up two more, two drawers, or two uh, side trays. Let's get started and uh, I'm going to start pulling all the parts out, show you what we're going to do, how we're going to make this work with very little modification, one serious modification, but that's the only one. Everything else is bolted together. So we're going to get it wrapped out. Uh, you'll see me put the parts on here and we'll go from there. Never make a trip to Harbor Freight without getting a few extras. You go for one thing, you end up with a bag of goodies. 63 cents with a coupon. You never have enough. So speaking of coupons, everything I bought today, with the exception of one side tray, I used a coupon on. I used a 20% coupon on one of them, but since I bought two, I could only use one. I could have done a separate order, six bucks. I'll deal with that later. Um, so the five drawers I've got for $189. I'll post a coupon that, if I remember correctly, is good till the end of the year. So I paid $189 for both carts. Got $100 off the two. Um, saw horses underneath the table were $8. Those are on a coupon. And. Apologize for the sweating, it is Florida and it's humid. Not hot, it's humid. So just to show you what I've done, made a mess. Got all my nuts and bolts right here. Uh, just makes it quicker and easier to grab them. All right, take two. So the easiest way I've found to put these on, turn this upside down, you're gonna set your casters on. You're gonna bring your bolts in from the bottom. Repeat. Now I'm just using the boxes that the casters came in. I'm going to go to the opposite side to maintain some balance.
Don't tighten them down until you get them all in. You'll end up fighting needlessly if you do. This is another one, so we're gonna use another one. Let me use a marker. Little light pressure from your thumb on the back side of the carriage usually does the trick. Not today. I do recommend greasing your bearings. They've got a little bit of grease from the factory, but that's marginal. Now's the time to do it while it's upside down because once you flip it over, it's gonna be a lot harder. So. That part is all per instructions. The next step is where we're gonna deviate from the instructions. So I've got two sets of legs. Only gonna open one now. We're going to leave the other ones there. So in these sets of legs, your smaller one, this is your load bearing braces. They hold the actual weight of the five drawer box. So we will be using both sets. I know, should have cut more tape. Now I'm going to place those in here because that's where we're going to be using them. Next thing we're going to do, take our four legs. And when you look at it, all right, so I've got two of the legs put on. One of the things to know about these legs, you get two holes on each end, each end which are identical, but this hole is not centered. So in your normal installation, 
The hole's on the low side of the bar. Hole's on the low side of the bar. What we're going to do is we're going to install this first set upside down. As you see here, if I was to set these side by side, this hole's lower. We're going to install them upside down in all of our corners. We're placing the load bearing brackets right inside this edge because this is where our bottom five drawer is going to sit. Oh, we screwed that one up, didn't we? Yep, take it back apart. That lined up way too easy. Alright, at that point, all 16 of these bolts can get tightened up. Your second set of legs from the other set are going to go over the top of it, upside down, giving you the height that we're going to gain for the second set of five drawers. So to get the measurement that we need to cut that five drawer at, I'm going to put a bolt in here, take our load supporter. Putting this in temporarily because we'll have to take it out to get the five drawer below it. Now I'm not going to worry about putting the second upright up. I'm just showing you how to get the measurement for where that goes. At that point, from this surface to the bottom of this surface, 
17 inches. Now, our cabinet is 19 and a quarter inches. Our cabinet is 19 and a quarter inches, so we have to take off two and a quarter inches to make it fit. That being said, that's the lid and part of the sides, basically just below the lock. So I'm going to swap these out. We're going to set up, we're going to cut that, and we're going to drop it in. Alright, so we said that needed to be 17 inches. And you'll see that under this lid we have 19 inches, so we have to take off a little over 2 inches. So we're going to mark it up, and you'll see that 17 is between the two holes. Um, got some 2 inch tape. I'm going to go around, I'm going to mark this. And we're going to get a cutting wheel and we're going to cut it. So to make things a little bit easier to handle, I'm going to lock the door. Just so it's not flopping on me. Took all the drawers out to make it easier to handle as well. And you can see all I'm doing is lining this up with the bottom edge. And we're going to cut across that top line. You can use any kind of straight edge you want. I'm going to freehand it because that edge is not going to show. Once this is cut, that edge goes behind the load bearing braces, so it's no longer an issue. Now, if you want to save your badging, do so. We'll take the lock out and save it when we get done, just in case we ever need it. We're going to get rid of the top and this two inch section all the way around. All right, so I'm just using a standard DeWalt cordless 20 volt, sorry, 18 volt. 
in case any of you with the 18 volt are getting tired of replacing your 18 volt batteries, DeWalt, not a sponsor, DeWalt has these 18 volt to 20 volt adapters so you can use the new 20 volt lithium ion. They do sell a kit that has the adapter, two batteries, and a charger. So if you don't have any 20 volts, it's a great way to start. All right, I want to go get some safety glasses. I'll be right back. I'm going to cut the hinge side first. That way I can get the lid completely out of there. All right, so go slow, take your time. I'm going to put it on its face. Watch out for your drawer slides coming out. They will come out. All right. Set your guide. Set the guide the other way. And that is why we wear safety glasses. All right, so that is everything but the inside braces. So I'm gonna work on the rest of it.
So what we've got left holding this lid, two side supports, two uprights, that's it. This is only held with two rivets. We're gonna drill those out real quick. Two uprights that hold the spring and pins. Knock those out real quick. One more rivet. We cut through one. So there's only one left. Those pop off. We've got all the way cut through. So what we have are these two side brackets. And to make that easier, we're going to drill the top rivets out of that. A little bit bigger, non-broken drill bit. As soon as you do that, that comes off. don't need, get rid of.
We're going to see if these clear. I don't know yet. I'm not that. All right, so looking at these, I think they're gonna to be too tall. And instead of me having to take it apart, I'm gonna go ahead and trim them off. Just gonna make them the same height as this. There's a seam, a roll. I'm just gonna cut it off at that. That's why I didn't wanna put that there. All right, so at this point, this gets set down in. bottom section. Temporary, just trying to get things lined up. So at this point, our other load supporters
So the way that goes in, it covers all your cut seams. Nothing shows. At this point, we're just going to start on the handles. Come out here. I'm putting this in as a temporary to keep it from flopping. Another one goes in the bottom. only a few threads in there to grab but it will grab remember we're going through four pieces of metal on my first one I did use a longer bolt but I figured it wasn't completely necessary we're not doing it here all right is that handle same thing on the other side Temporary bolt. Oop. Second leg. Second handle. There it is. Thing all the way around. Takes a little bit of tweaking and squeezing. Get everything to line up.
bridge showing. Now these four corners will take a wrench to do it. You're not getting in here with a socket and an extension. Again, 13 mil. Anytime it's going too easy, you forgot a part. Completely loose, but that's okay. Just by hand.
So we got our two handles on. We're working on the side braces now. It's a little tight getting everything to line up, but if you take your time, it will work. Alright, so trying to get these two bolts in, they didn't want to line up. Use a ratchet strap, draw everything in. All else fails, fix your hole. We're going to need this in a little bit for doing our bottom trays. So I'm going to get rid of this. So that's done. So I told you earlier, use the bolts that fit here. I struggled. I had already purchased 5 16 carriage bolts by inch, inch and a quarter to get that extra length. It's the only two places you need those. Use them. We'll save the fight. All right. These bolts come back out. It's time to drop in our other five tray or five drawer chest. I'm going to pull all the drawers out. I'm handling it one at a time. All right, that's another reason why you take the drawers out. Use that as handles. Next thing you're going to want to do, I recommend doing, get your struts on. That way your lid stays up, doesn't bounce around, doesn't get damaged. Use your nylocks that came in your caster kit. Thread that on.
That inside stud is a 12 mil. Your nut's a 13 mil. All right, that gets that in shape. All right, we've got our bolts around here. We're going to be putting the side trays on. So I'm not going to be putting those bolts in till last. I'm going to get everything else done first. Front two, both sides. And again, they're just in, they're not tight. Just in. Put all your trays back in. Takes a little bit, but you'll get it in there. Now 
Now, if you wanted to stop right there, put your last eight bolts in, put your handle on, you've got a functioning cart. Two things I want to do. So I'm going to use trays. Down here on the side. So I've got to drill a couple of holes. The template's already there. Just use the existing holes that are here. And do the same thing on the other side.
Takes care of those. All right. Pull these trays out. These come with hardware, but it's the same hardware as all the rest. Four bolts, four nuts. And what I'm going to do grab all of them. Once you get two bolts in there, it's going to hold the weight of it. It's got to keep it from moving. Plinko! Sorry, my angles aren't any better. Same thing on the side. alignment issue. So that one's being stubborn. Back lines up, so let's do the back first.
All right, once all 16 bolts are in, cinch them down. Struts are upside down. Anyway, I'll fix that in a minute. So that is your basic 10 drawer tool cart. All your access holes that you have up here, you have down here as well on the side. And you can still store screwdrivers and pry bars here. Hands down below. And I've got to say, I like the four casters. Any questions, let me know. Comment below, like, subscribe, help me out. I'm getting back into the boat building after I get this going. Now i got a place for my boat building tools. If you want to do any more strengthening up, if you feel you need it, you can put some bolts on the front and back just to give it that extra. Is it necessary? It depends on what you load into it. If you load a bunch of tools, drill them out. I'm just doing sandpapers and, and stuff like that, so nothing's really going to weigh a lot. I just need the extra space.
All right, we'll see you later. Even get to